The comets are best described as the dirty snowballs. They are made up of a mixture of rock, dust, water ice and frozen carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane and ammonia. When they come closer to the sun, they begin to warm and release the gases, producing an extended gravitationally unbound atmosphere or coma surrounding the nucleus and sometimes a tail of gas and dust gas blown out from the coma. But ever wondered how does a comet look like from its surface? The European Space Agency designed a mission to actually land on a comet. So what is this mission all about? What were the mission objectives and eventually what happened to this mission? This is the Universe Factory and let's try to find out the answers of these questions in today's video. This is going to be super interesting, let's do this. Before we begin, if you are constantly curious about the space and the universe, if you want the big questions answered, this is the right place. So subscribe to the Universe Factory and press the bell icon next to it. It doesn't cost you a penny but it's very much important for us to grow our stargazing community. Additionally find us on social media platforms as well, links to which have been mentioned down below in the description, don't forget to check out. Now the mission that we are talking about is called as Rosetta Philae mission. The main task of this mission was to visit a comet 67P Churimo Gerasimenko, drop a probe named Philae on the surface, study the comet from the orbit and fly by at least one asteroid on the way. The principal goals were to study the origin of comets and the relationship between cometry and interstellar material implications with regard to the origin of the solar system. It was perhaps most ambitious mission from ESA. It was launched in 2004 and it took nearly 10 years for the Philae lander to touch the surface of 67P. But what did we learn from it so far? Let's first talk about Comet 67P Churimo Gerasimenko. Named after the discoverers Klim Ivanovich Churimo and Svetlana Gerasimenko, 67P is the Jupiter family comet. Now what does that mean? The short period comets with orbital periods less than 20 years and low inclinations up to 30 degrees to the ecliptic are called traditionally Jupiter family comets. Originally from the Kuiper belt, it has a current orbital period of 6.45 years and rotational period of approximately 12.4 hours. It is zooming across the space with maximum velocity of 135,000 km per hour. The comet has a mass of approximately 10 billion tons. It has two lobes, one is smaller than the other. It appears that the comet rotates about its axis and as it does, the two lobes are pulling away from each other. The comet has a very weak gravity, suggesting that it is very porous and brittle. However, the surface of the comet was found to be a lot harder than expected. The surface of the comet has 26 distinct regions named after Egyptian deities. Talking about Philelander, it was launched with Rosetta space probe and got detached from it on 12th November 2014 nearly after 10 years of launch. After bouncing while landing, Philae settled in the shadow of a cliff, canted at an angle of around 30 degrees. This made it unable to adequately collect solar power and it lost contact with Rosetta when its batteries ran out after 3 days, well before much of the planned science objectives could be attempted. Contact was briefly and intermittently re-established several months later at various times between 13 June and 9 July before contact was lost once again. There was no communication afterwards and the transmitter to communicate with Philae was switched off in July 2016 to reduce power consumption of the probe. The precise location of the lander was discovered in September 2016 when Rosetta came closer to the comet and took high resolution pictures of its surface. So what did the Rosetta and Philae lander find out? It is important to note that the ratio of deuterium to hydrogen in the water from the comet was determined to be three times that found for Earth's water. 
This makes it very unlikely that the water found on Earth came from the comet such as Comet 67P, according to the researchers. The nucleus of Churyumov Gerasimenko was found to have no magnetic field of its own after measurements were taken during Phyllis' descent and landing by its row map instrument and Rosetta's RPC mag instrument. This suggests that the magnetism may not have played a role in the early formation of the solar system as had previously been hypothesized. Philelander has also revealed that 16 organic compounds, four of which were seen for the very first time on the comet. While organic compounds do not mean life, life is based on the organic compounds. However, neither Rosetta nor Philae is equipped to search for direct evidence of organisms. Sadly, Philae couldn't do much of the tasks and get readings from the surface Rosetta, on the other hand, was able to collect some of the samples of the comet. Here you can see Rosetta captured snow and dust being ejected off the comet's surface into the space. One of the most impressive shots in this video of the dust particles and cosmic rays shooting from here and there across the comet's surface. This is the night side of the comet so long exposures can pick up these interesting elements. Isn't this beautiful? Reminds me of the wall from the Game of Thrones show. As the orbit of Comet 67P took it farther from the Sun, the amount of sunlight reaching Rosetta's solar panel decreased. While it would have been possible to put Rosetta into a second hibernation phase during the Comet's epihelion, there was no assurance that enough power would be available to run the spacecraft's heaters to keep it from freezing. To guarantee a maximum science return, Mission managers made the decision to instead guide Rosetta down to the comet's surface and end the mission on impact, gathering photographs and instrument readings along the way. On 23rd June 2015, at the same time as the mission extension was confirmed, ESA announced that end of the mission would occur at the end of September 2016 after two years of operations at the comet. The Rosetta filler mission has opened our eyes for the what solar system was like when it was formed. There will be many such missions that will take place in future, but the groundbreaking work done by this mission is simply brilliant and helpful to explore the unknown areas in space. As we conclude our voyage through the cosmos, remember that comets like 67P Churyumo Gerasimenko are more than icy wanderers. They are time capsules from the dawn of our solar system. Each dust grain, each frozen molecule whispers secrets about our cosmic past. Thank you for joining today. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. It would mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification so that you won't miss out any future updates and latest happenings in the world of astronomy. Meanwhile, watch these suggested videos as well. Keep your eyes on the night sky. Who knows what other celestial wonders await our exploration. Until next time, may your dreams be as big as the universe itself. And until we meet again among the stars, just keep looking up.